What is going on YouTube? This is Jim back with another video and today I am excited as an iOS user, as an iPhone user for a while now to finally say that xCloud Gaming is in fact coming to iPhones starting tomorrow. There's a caveat with it. I'm going to get into that, but before I do, I would love for you guys to subscribe to the channel. All right, so xCloud Gaming is finally here. I got to debut this way back when, before the world ended, uh, E3, going to the Xbox Fan Fest event with my wife. I remember walking in and checking out this display they had set up with all these cell phones. Some of them had touchscreen controls right on the phone. Some of them were hooked up to uh, wireless controllers to give that a whirl as well. And I played Gears of War 5 and I talked with the development team for maybe 20 minutes and gave them some critical feedback. I have done xCloud reviews on this channel before. I'll even do you a favor and I'll post a link to some of those old reviews in the description below, but never on iPhone. I don't think a lot's gonna change, but the fact that I have an iPhone and I have to keep borrowing my wife's phone will be nice for her and for me that I can piddle around with this. now. Here is the rub. Uh, they're not going out to everybody. Uh, starting tomorrow, which is 420 bra, um, Xbox will be sending out Xbox Game Pass Ultimate members only. A, the chance to do a limited beta for Windows 10 PC and for Apple iPhones and for Apple tablets via the web browser functionality. This is what I'm most interested in. Um, I don't have any desire to try this on Windows 10 PC. I have a Windows 10 PC, and when I want to play the Master Chief Collection or any other amazing Game Pass game, I install it on my M.2 hard drive, I run it on my graphics card, and it looks beautiful. I don't need any help with processing. I know some of you guys might. You might be running older graphics cards, and hey, listen, the shortage of silicon in the world sucks right now, and as a result, it's hard to find newer cards. So I understand there actually is a really cool need for this for some people. But I think overwhelmingly, everybody is way more excited about the idea of mobile. When this was first pitched to us a long, long time ago by Big Daddy Phil Spencer, the idea was you could take your games anywhere. Now, anywhere doesn't mean sitting in the same place where I play games now in my office on my gaming computer. Anywhere means, well, I guess the living room until COVID's over. Um, but <laughs> it's somewhere different. Um, now, they are going to be using a browser. This is something that's interesting. Apple has been very, very difficult to work with in installing games. There's a big lawsuit going on with Fortnite and Apple and microtransactions and all this nonsense. This unfortunately spills over here. So it's not going to be a nice native application like it is on my wife's Android-based cell phone. It's going to be a website that you go to that somehow loads everything up. In theory, it should be about the same experience remains to be seen. Um, and here you can see here, it says we're launching it through where you can play over 100 Xbox games through Edge, Chrome, or Safari, offering cloud gaming through the browser and having a simplified universal landing page presents a great opportunity. Well, it is a great opportunity, but it's the only opportunity right now, at least on <laughs> iPhone. Um, so what they're gonna do is they're gonna be sending out a small, just, you know, group right now for people to see. Uh, for those who receive the invite, they just need a um, Bluetooth or USB connected controller um, or can use the custom touch controls, which is what I'm really, 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 really interested in. I think if you are going to make a mobile device and, you know, this experience, you need to have integrated controls. I don't care what you say, trying to find a way to get those goofy snap things that wrap around the controller that have the screen held while you can hold a controller just don't work. It's not practical. I do have one for the Nintendo Switch. I don't use it much at all. Uh, it's nice, but it carries a lot of weight and heft to it, and it's just not a natural thing to carry or to use. So most people are going to be very familiar with touchscreen controls on the phone. As a result, they're going to want to use the native support, like with Elder Scrolls Blades or something. Now, I'll be dying to see what games are supported with that. It says right now there's only 50 games. I'm dying to see that. I would love for this to be a Halo game. I would love to play Master Chief Collection for you guys 
on my cell phone and give you guys my thoughts. Uh, will remain remains to be seen if I make the cut or not, but they are going to be releasing uh, some of these tomorrow. Now, if you're curious, and I pulled this up from uh, windowscentral.com, as with all the other links that I uh, look through, I will post these in the description below, so go ahead and check those out as well. Um, let me make this a little bigger. I'm blind as a bat. There we go. Perfect. Um, here is a list of some of the games that actually are available right now. So they've done a really nice... Uh, list they constantly are adding things so these are cloud enabled games that have been added to xbox game pass so will be interesting to see you know here's some of the list here and here's that goofy thing this is perfect this is what exactly what i was talking about i, I just don't see a lot of people carrying this around i mean i guess it's possible um but there are going to be some really cool games and just looking at this small list here you're going to have all of the amazing elder scrolls games you got oblivion you got bethesda title fallout new vegas morrowind gears 2 gears 3 some older games with jetpack and uh, banjo kazooie so interesting i'm really curious to see kind of how this this plays out um now i guess really and here's some other ones too i, I guess this uh it'll be interesting to see you know with Really, with how this is all going to pan out, I guess I'll be interested to see if the performance can hold up well. Um, one of the things I noticed, and this again was uh, two years ago when I first checked this out, um, there was a lot of really hard pixelization in terms of the game process is always running in the background. So on the server side of the process, the game is always running perfectly. It's how they stream that data to you is what happens, and, and that's where the, the latency occurs, and that's where the interface problems start to occur. So when I was playing, I was running around, I was playing Halo. I was playing, I actually played Gears and Halo, now that I think about it, but Gears specifically. I remember running forward and turning down a hallway. Um, my screen froze, but in the real server doing the real processing, I was still playing Gears, and what ended up happening is when I turned, into uh the corner uh the game just instantly like teleported me to like somewhere new and it was a very 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 jarring experience i wonder how well this will work for competitive gaming um i'm very interesting to see and i do agree with the i'll close this video out with this i i do agree that uh this is a very very exciting journey and this is really breaking down the barriers of hardware in such a creative interesting way um, and with the backing of the Game Pass library, you know, this is something that Google Stadia never had the reach to do. This is something that Amazon Luna, if the damn thing still exists, uh, never had the reach to do. Definitely Uplay Plus does not have this kind of pull. The fact that Game Pass has the entire Xbox library plus all these studios that they bought backing them uh, to make such a phenomenal uh, service that is included, you know, quote unquote, for free with your Xbox Ultimate. It's insane. The question is, can they deliver from a technical standpoint? You know, the old tried and true T-Mobile Tower and 5G be able to hold up. So I can't wait to get my hands on this. I really hope I get picked. But if not, I'm sure there will be other great YouTubers out there who are going to give you their full opinion. So leave a comment below. Let me know your thoughts on this. Are you hyped? Have you been using this for Android? Is it exactly what you want it to be? Is it good? Is it bad? Leave all those wonderful thoughts below. That's it for me today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, I will see you guys on the other side.